Hey guys, so yesterday I had um, a mentorship call with some of my friends and someone requested for this video. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Um, so first things you want to do when creating uh, this slider prototype in Figma is you need to have the both state, which is the start state and the end state. And your numbers have to also flow with it. So let's get right into it. So the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to paste my component. I'm going to uh, detach what I've done. So we have this. Let's put this aside uh, because we're going to use it for our test. Right, so we have this and what I want to do is I would like to do this afresh. So what you can do is simply, all right, so let's let's just draw all of this from the beginning. So I'll draw up a frame, um, like a rectangle this way and just round those corners. Pick the color at the top, the black, and then the circle, I'm going to put it over here. Um, the circle that creates like that uh, volume uh, action and so we have this just increase the stroke a bit and then we we'll choose with the eyedropper to pick the orange color over here now select both of them and put them in a frame so right click and do frame selection and once we do that we can just name this start there's no need for you you can just do that uh, to fulfill all righteousness so we're done with this so i'm just going to get rid of that we don't need that anymore and then i'll type in the next text which is let's start from let's start from zero all right so we have this but i'll put it by the side and this is what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate it multiple times so i'll just put this select both of them put it in an auto layout frame so click auto layout and then we're going to change this one to one and just duplicate it more times. All right, this one, two, three, four, five. So let's leave it here. You can make yours as lengthy as possible, all right? But I'm just going to leave it at there. I'll give it a spacing of 12. You know, let's make that 10. Yep. And then with that, we can now proceed to the next step. So next step, would be to put all of this in, the, in another frame so right click and put it in do frame selection and then i would reduce this just clip content so that i cannot see the rest of it and then i'll reduce this guy to be like this select the inside one just select this the one inside and just bring it down a bit now we have the starting point of this one so that's the start so we have this and we need to have the end but not yet All right so let's take this and put it into uh, put it together with this one you know what let's close this so we'll put it sorry about that we we'll put it together with this all right get rid of this select both of them center them all right right click uh, yeah right click and put it in a frame so we have it in a frame this is frame one and then we're going to duplicate it and create the second frame so for this second frame what you want to do is select this circle select it with the navigation key which is the left right use the right one and just move it towards the end like this all right and this one remember it's a frame inside of a frame so you can either select it here or you can just tap it once and to select this one so just do it from here and then use the navigation key for up and just move it uh, with the navigation key on your keyboard and would we'll have this so now we have the start and end so this is the end and this is the start now we're going to do the next step and the next step is to put both of them in a component set so that we can use one for our result. So we'll select both of them, go up here, 
click on the drop down which says components and then choose component set and there we have it guys um from here i'm just going to change the title to slider and then from here you are almost done so with that we're going to go to prototype even though i can hardly see it because my recorder is covering it <laughs> all right so recorder select this one so what we're going to do is one do two things we're going to select this one and we're going to select the circle so select both of them and not the frame itself maybe try out the frame if it will work for you but this is what i've, I've done so select these both guys and then drag them to this one now you're going to put it on drag because you're going to be dragging this circle to control the volume or increase the number of what you're checking so on on this area where it says on tap click on it and choose on drag this is on 600 milliseconds so you can leave it there and it's on smart animate all right you can do the same for this one select the circle select this and also drag that prototype up and then same thing on drag and the other settings will just follow through so with that we are done so next step is to draw a frame so you just draw a single frame this way and we're just going to title this prototype right there's no need to title all right so if you want title fine if you don't want it's also fine so with that we're going to select one of these so the one at the top we're just going to hold alt and drag it into our frame right so we we'll drag that into our frame center it horizontally and vertically there's no need to do that as well <laughs> all right whatever you want to do is fine so with this we can now select this go back to prototype put it on starting flow so flow starting point and then we can now click on this play to check if this works and i pray it works <laughs> all right with that we can now try to move it and it works all right it works so we can also play it and there we have it guys so that's how you can create this sliding animation or prototype for your next design i'll see you